Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reps and Cool Music. I figured out that uh, at physical therapy, I really got a good look at my entire figure with my legs exposed because I only had to wear boxers for the physical therapist to like uh, check the function of uh, my leg. And I saw that despite having improved mobility a lot and also muscle definition and mass on my injured leg, it still hasn't nearly caught up to the healthy leg. So that means when I do hip thrusts, half of them, I, I can do 50 with both legs, but half of them will be with one leg with only my right leg to rebuild muscle. Muscle and mobility is very important for that leg to be completely healthy. So I can go on long jogs, you know, to clear my mind and gain more muscle definition as well. <laughs> Jogging is something I've taken for granted in the past. It wasn't my favorite part of training. My favorite part of training was building muscle mass but I have a more interest in cardio as well because you really need to balance those out if you want both size and definition because then I can eat a lot and be a muscular beast with very well-defined muscles if I do a lot of cardio and a lot of weights. But I did bicycle um, at least like 10 kilometers, I think it's six to seven miles to Taekwondo every time I went to practice. So I did uh, quite a bit of cardio. I did get decent definition, but I know I can do better. But I have to improve the condition of my knee. And uh, on my way home from work, I thought of the perfect soundtrack for my training because spring has been coming but then the temperature started going down and started being cold, like winter. So I'm like, man, this is not spring anymore. And a few days after I felt the winter cold, it was confirmed. It started snowing. So my pick of the day is one of Vivaldi's four seasons. Winter. The best one. <laughs> Yeah, it's the coolest sounding one, but I love all the Four Seasons by Vivaldi. Vivaldi is probably my favorite composer. <laughs> I can listen to Vivaldi anytime. Anytime is good time for Vivaldi. It's like, I don't have to be in a certain mood to listen to Vivaldi at all. It's like, I'm always in a mood to listen to Vivaldi. Always. Anyway, uh, let's put on winter. Let's see if the sound is... Yeah. Okay, let's do this from hip thrust. Ah, uh, man. No connect... No, wrong controller. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and wrestle three. Move! Into. Okay. Ah. 50 was easy, but that's a good warm up for the other leg, which I should be careful with. So, if I need to stop early, it's fine. I don't need to go very high rep as long as I feel resistance because I plan to at least make it to 50 on this leg. Okay, go. Okay, wait. <laughs> I have to get settled on technique. Whew. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. It felt good to listen to some Vivaldi again because I haven't actually listened to Vivaldi for a while because my focus can be different places. I've been mostly listening to Bach and uh, Handel and Haydn lately and Beethoven. I do, I have. So, uh, and uh, Impera, the new Ghost album, it's so lovely and so addictive. So, that's most of the music I've been listening to lately. Uh, I'm getting warm. Then it's time for the next step. I could hold the wrestler's bridge in between each set though. Because that strengthens my back and glutes even more. In an isometric hold. Isometric holds are one of Bruce Lee's favorite training method. Uh, two, three. I. <laughs> that is kind of tough. Okay, twenty more. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 Ah, oh, wow, 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 wow Whew. Whew. Hey, hey, hey Okay, let's hold a bit more Bridge because wrestlers strengthen their neck muscles and their back and their butt and hamstrings with this exercise, with this isometric hold. 
A stronger neck makes someone e harder to knock out and to choke out in a submission hold. <laughs> so I might not be doing any kicks or punches and throws, but this consistent training is martial arts. A, a good portion of martial arts is conditioning, strength and endurance and flexibility. <laughs> And my knee is almost 100%, it's approaching. So then I will go back to my Taekwondo club. <laughs> okay, let's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, That was my leg workout for the day. Well, I have calf raises as well. So, I'm not done with legs. <sighs> okay. I will make a simple workout. Regular calf raises, straight forward to 100. Sometimes I just need to make things simple. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Oh man, it's done. Oh man. Okay, okay. I'll go for. Well, well. Since I was uh, expecting spring, we might just as well start Vivaldi all over again, Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Quattro Stagioni. Well, there you go. Let's hope for spring, but that's why I'm listening to spring. Yes. Ah, I might as well change the position. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and thirty, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. 
That was good. Huh. Okay, time to hit the abs. Time for crunches. and full of life and beauty powerful beautiful music <sighs> the red priest he was called because of his red hair and that he was a catholic priest he's one of my favorite priests so is this one but this one is a priest for the dark side <laughs> Well, they're both musicians. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Whew. Alright. Next up, movement. Uh, leg raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. a longer break. <laughs> I really killed my abs here. <laughs> but I do that every day. <sighs> but the real results will uh, yield themselves when I start training martial arts. Because then my body fat will be lower and muscles will be more well defined. <laughs> Yes, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Last thing my teacher heard from me, my knee got really messed up. I can't come back to Taekwondo in a while. And he's like, ouch! Hope you get better. I'm like, okay, thanks. That was over a year ago. So... <laughs> The members of my Taekwondo club will be surprised when I come back. <laughs> if they even remember me. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 
every day will benefit me more than doing push-ups every day. I already have a big chest, it's my nature. But having really awesome, spectacular abs, I never had that. Even at my most lean, I could just see a little bit of definition. That's why focus training is important. Not only low body fat, the muscles need to be well developed. I need some water, then I do 20 more and the plank. started feeling it the pressure was going to my knee my bad knee so that hurt oh summer that's also a very intense season by Vivaldi it's like summer and winter are my favorite seasons on the Vivaldi's four season but in real life I prefer autumn and spring because the temperatures are mild and good to me. <laughs> Winter is too cold, summer is too hot. <laughs> okay. Whew. I already went that far. I already trained calves, abs, and my uh, butt. Oh, oh, legs in general. But I need to squeeze the pillow between my legs because it's part of physical therapy. So that's good for recovery. 
Then I'll stretch and read stoicism soon. Of course I need to pump the arms a little. Always do that too. If you do a little of everything every day, you can train every day. But at the gym, I go a bit more thoroughly on the muscles because then I have all kinds of weight and equipment as well. Okay. One. And flex. Two. Flex. Three. And flex. Four. And flex. Five. And flex. <sighs> These are, reps are way harder than they look. Seven. Flex. Ooh. Eight. And flex. Nine. Flex. Ten. And flex as hard as I can. Super Saiyan. Oh god. That's enough actually. I think those reps are actually pretty good for gaining a good mind-muscle connection. I don't even feel that kind of flexing in the lower body muscles when I do barbell squats, even with very heavy weight. So I think this will give me an edge when I get back to powerlifting. I might get stronger than I've ever been before. That's good. Good to think about. Not do hammer curls. out on the gym on uh, Sunday so I get to store a lot of energy I'll be busy working most of the day tomorrow and the day after so that's why Sunday is perfect to go to the gym and really spend time working on my body turn on the sound a little bit so I can read uh, stoicism and stretch out my legs <sighs> there we go 